like so important, I cannot express it. But don't forget that you are an infinite creator, so there's nothing to be afraid of. I have met the people, I have met the anti-masters, I have met the cabal. Um, uh, I'm not on their side, I'm a light worker, but just watch this. And I want to say something else. One of the things that I learned from whistleblowers from the cabal itself is that they have to work within something they call the rules. And this is very, very important. So I really want to make sure that this gets into the film. The rules are a body of spiritual principles that they must follow in order to be allowed to exist. Now, what do I mean by allowed to exist? I mean that they are aware that there are benevolent forces that will prevent them from achieving their goals unless we give them permission to enslave us. Now, think about that. Well, I didn't give them permission. So why did they put this plan for three world wars on display in a book that's hanging there open behind glass in the British Museum Library of London? Reminds me of how they put that shit in The Simpsons, you know? Predictive programming. It's almost like the subconscious mind needs to uh, resonate with it, even for a split second, for some reason. And those three world wars that they're outlining are exactly World War I, World War II, and the war on terrorism. Ooh, a war on war. Come on, wake the fuck up, guys. Because the rules state that they have to tell us what they're doing. Therefore, if we allow it to happen, we have consented to tyranny, we have consented to enslavement. Now, if you get into the secret history of the cabal, this was rediscovered by Queen Elizabeth, the original Elizabeth that we've heard about from the 1500s. Queen Elizabeth is also uh, cousins with George Bush and Barack Obama. Look it up. Fun fact. Queen Elizabeth's royal astrologer, a man named John Dee, who is the prototype of the wizard with the long beard, the, the hat, and what he did was to rediscover through these ancient documents that were in the Vatican the technology of how to access what they considered to be spiritual beings that were useful to them, but what we would consider to be demonic or evil beings. These beings need to be accessed through a very complex set of rituals and ceremonies. You cannot just ask for them to show up. You have to... What about higher dimensional entities? You know, like loving beings. Well, I mean, I've worked with extraterrestrials before, like the Galactic Federation of Light. Um, just watch my other videos to understand that. Follow very elaborate and specific protocols. If you follow those protocols, it's like having an IP address, which is what we use to go online in order to notate a website. Every website has its own IP address. These spiritual beings, such as Baal, Think of going from point A to point B. And Moloch, which they still do say own IP address. These spiritual beings, such as Baal and Moloch, which they still do ceremonies for today, such as in Bohemian Grove, there is a giant effigy, stone effigy of an owl. That's the god Moloch. The god Moloch goes all the way back to Rome and Carthage, in which they were offering child sacrifices to this god in exchange for power. So John Dee rediscovered the technology of how to draw the magic circles, how to say the right incantations, how to actually do black magic on a governmental level. This is what people are going to have so much trouble with once disclosure happens, is that these people actually practice black magic, and they are very, very good at it. I'm surprised he lived that long to tell the tale because I'm being attacked by those specific black magicians right now. Um, Jim McGuckin, uh, he's one of my old mentors, and he even said, yeah, you're being followed by anti-masters, Betsy Perry. She saw them, like, uh, so I have witnesses for this. I have police reports. Um, these are the people that are fucking with me because I know the cure for cancer and I know the cure for coronavirus. It's quantum healing hypnosis. It's mind over matter. The whole universe is mind over matter. Everything's fucking consciousness. Everything's energy. Uh, Nikola Tesla said the day we begin to study non-physical phenomena will make more advancements in one decade than we have in all of its previous centuries. 
everything's energy. He even said to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Uh, please follow me at Cosmic Curiosity uh, for more awakening posts so you can know the truth and you can guard yourself from things like this and so we can regain back our honor and our planet and our souls and our minds because this is a war on consciousness. The war on consciousness is silent, but it won't be if we speak up. Please follow and please donate if you found this information helpful.